The city of Rochester is facing yet another lawsuit involving a Pill Hill property. Neighbors to the historic Harwick House filed the current complaint. This comes after residents of the Falwell School neighborhood recently sued the city for approving a housing project there. Our Carly Petrus spoke with the plaintiffs and defendants involved in this case and brings us the details. Alongside the city of Rochester, the current owner of the Harwick House is named in the lawsuit. Michael Mackin says the recent lawsuit is more of an appeal to the city's planning and zoning commission's approval of his idea to split the property. The way it started is the city approved, you know, it goes to the planning commission and the city approved it, you know, based on simple math, you know, there's nothing special about it. They approve it. And then from there it goes to this planning committee and there's nine people on this committee. And then they look at everything and, you know, and look at it and see and see what see if it meets their rules and regulations, and they've approved it too. His intent with the property is to upgrade the inside of the house, take care of the yard, and sell the home to a new owner when it's all done. We respect the neighborhood. We really do. We're not trying to go in here and, and put a condo on this or something stupid. We're trying to do something that's appropriate for that area. So to have so many of these people kind of fighting with us, they should kind of see that we're, we're actually helping this neighborhood with a better property and possibly two properties. The lawsuit was filed by Sarah Hilwa and Chris Dufell, a couple who lives across the street to the Harwick house. It's a grand house um, with grand grounds and certainly having lived in Rochester, you know there's lots of stories about Mr. Harwick and there were stories of how he had wanted his house to main, be maintained even when he passed it on to the next owner. One of their main arguments, Mackin and the city's plan would, quote, destroy the historic nature of the Pill Hill. We really believe that the code is on our side and that there was a misinterpretation of the code in allowing the lot to be split. Many of those who live in the neighborhood have shown support for their arguments by signing a petition. So we put together a petition which was signed by over a hundred neighbors and brought it forth. And actually the city planning and zoning committee agreed with us and said that the lot could not be split. Carly Petrus, Fox 47 News. With Michael Macon's original intent behind purchasing the Harwick house being to renovate the inside for a future buyer, he says it will be completely finished and ready for an open house by next week. He hopes those in the Pill Hill neighborhood can come out and see it.